Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Uh, pardon the appearance, I'm about to pressure wash a rug. <laughs> so there's a long story uh, that goes with it. I, you know, pick from the street and I found a rug. This one right here. <laughs> it's a beautiful rug. Um, I'll put the picture right here so you can see it. It's a seven by nine rug, uh, synthetic. Uh, the design is called Torrance and it's blue, beige and white. It's a very, very pretty rug, but it's not my rug. So obviously I don't want whoever got rid of it. I don't want their germs or their dirt or whatever. So originally I thought about renting a pressure washer and then the universe is such that a couple of weeks later, a company sent me a pressure washer for review. And it's that big box right here. So today I'm going to review the uh, Giraffe Tools uh, 2200 PSI pressure washer uh, and I'm going to use it to pressure wash the rug. So for those of you who don't know, you can pressure wash your rugs. Um, when you have a rug that needs to be clean, chances are if you send it out, uh, they will pressure wash it. That's how they clean rugs. They also have the big roll machine where they have them go through back and forth but for the most part what they do is just basically put the rug on the ground clean the ground first I'm gonna have to do that I'm doing that on my blacktop uh, put it on the ground and wet it soak it with uh, um, suds you know soap you can use uh, carpeting or you can use laundry detergent not dawn it will um, soak too much you have too much bubble and it's hard to get rid of and then you scrub it very nice you do the same thing with the back of it you flip it back and then you rinse you rinse you rinse until there's no more soap on it and then you lay it flat somewhere uh, or semi flat and you let it dry and that's it your rug is clean so this is what I'm gonna do today it's super hot it's uh, 98 99 degrees beautiful sky nothing but sunshine it's the perfect day to pressure wash a rug so first I'm going to open the box and install the pressure washer test it out and then I'll get going and have a almost brand new rug at the end of the day okay so first I'm going to open this and I'm going to do that in the shade because there's really no need for me to suffer <laughs> um, it's fairly heavy you can see the box right here it says 2200 psi pressure hose reel with 100 foot pressure hose and i believe that you can um install it against the wall you can uh, hang it mine is probably going to stay outside at least during the summer month. Okay. We'll have to figure out what this little thing is. Manual. It comes with a bottle. If you want to put some soap in it, great for washing cars and windows. There are all the tools and attachments. This is uh, the nozzle for the pressure wash. All right. Got a hose attachment. Handle. So here's the back of it and you can see right here that it comes with a wall attachment if you want to put it on the wall in your garage and here's the plug with the um, surge on it pretty cool and if you want to see the stuff a little bit better here's the handle with the trigger this is the nozzle we'll have to figure out what these are for I don't think they do anything other than, I don't know, we'll see. And then this is everything they provide you, including the big screws and anchors if you want to attach it to the wall. 
and this is what it looks like from the front pretty neat with the logo right here so it has a automatic retraction I think you see that right and on this thing here this little trolley as you unravel will move to the right and back and forth so the advantage of that is that when it retracts on its own it actually will um, recoil it in the proper way it's not going to be a jumble mess it will go vroom, vroom, like this okay so that's pretty cool uh, let me look at the instructions and how to install it and when I come back I'll show you how to do it and we'll test it out so step number one you want to loosen that up a little bit here to grab this end and this gets connected by hand no tools needed to the bottom of the trigger whatever you want to call it nozzle nozzle all right did you see that there was a click right so i pushed it in and then you just tighten it by hand all right so this is connected step two is connecting this one here that's the lens um, which is really where your jet is going to come and this you just insert it this way you'll see these notches you push it all the way in and then you turn so now it's locked in place and before you start anything what you want to do is grab this little orange piece right here this is a trigger lock and you just push it this way so that way you can't trigger it because once you start running the water what's going to happen is that you may have this 20 feet away from you and it's going to fly off the, uh, the ground with the pressure from the water so you want to put it and keep it in the lock position until you're ready to use it so the next step this is my hose is to connect my hose to this adapter right here so what you do is that you take the black part right here and you attach that to your hose as though you were adding an additional hose and on the instruction they make sure that they specify not to use any hand tools uh, to just do it by hand and once you have this on this part here goes to the machine so the machine has two sides one side has the hose connection the other side has the on and off button so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this part right here And again, they recommend not to use tools, but just to do it by hand. Okay, that should do it. So I'm a little concerned because it doesn't seem to be going any further. And I hope I'm not going to have any leak. Now they give you four nozzles. And each one is a degree, an angle degree, uh, for your pressure wash. The orange one is a 15 degree. The red one is a zero degree, so this is gonna give you like a serious jet. Um, the t green one is a 25 degree, so that's gonna be a little bit wider. And then the widest one is the white one, it's the 40 degree, and that's probably the one I'm going to use. And to connect your nozzle um, to your gun, you're basically going to push this down like this, insert your nozzle, and then bring this back up like this. So now it's installed. So as I said, I'm a little worried about this part right here and whether or not uh, I'm going to have water leaking. So Scott went to turn on the water and we're gonna see how it works. Yeah, I have a little bit of leaking. Not too much. I don't think it's going to uh, bother the pressure. But you see I have my uh, lock on over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is unroll it before I turn the power on, which is right here.
and what I'm going to do is turn it on and we need to wash this whole area before I can bring in the rug. All right, I'm turning it on. So what I'm going to do is wet it first um, with the uh, gun and then I'll start applying detergent. I'm going to take a bucket, um, you know, like a big five gallon bucket, and I'm going to put laundry detergent in it and water, and I'm going to spray that all over the rug and start scrubbing. I'm using a Zoom laundry soap. It actually doesn't have a lot of uh, suds, but it smells wonderful. I'm just going to put a little bit, not a lot, a half a cap full into this bucket, and I'm going to fill that up with water. So now this is filled up with water, and what I'm going to do is take one of those and I'm going to douse the rug with my soapy water. And next is brushing. So I got this car brush and I'm just going to brush the rug. Okay, I gave it one brush. What I'm gonna do now is wet it again and brush it some more. Now it's been scrubbed twice. I'm gonna rinse it again and then I'm gonna flip it and clean the back.
the last stop is the squeegee. So we got the squeegee that we used, well, it's a new one. We had two uh, for the black top. And what we're doing is removing all of the excess water. That way when we transport it to the deck to lay flat and dry, it won't weigh uh, 200 pounds. It's working. So here you can probably see the difference between the one that was squeegeed and the one that was not. Uh, can you see the difference, Scott, in color? Yeah, it's a bit lighter, I think. I think it is. Smells clean to me. Um, I wish I could lay it flatter, but it is what it is. So it's gonna stay here probably overnight. So the next time you'll see the rug, hopefully it will be uh, dry. I still have water in there, so it definitely needs to do some serious, serious drying. So this was my review of the Giraffe Tools uh, 2200 PSI Power Wash. It works, I like it. Uh, it's a little bit less pressure than I had expected, but I can see myself totally doing the house windows, the uh, vinyl siding, the deck, the car, the driveway. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with a pressure wash. The staircase, the front porch, the sidewalk, <laughs> I mean, you name it. I think it's inexpensive for what it is. It's under $400. It comes with all the different nozzles. So I'll show you uh, sketches right here of what the nozzle angles are. And then the bottle where you put the soap and that would be to pre-wash your car if you want to put uh, wax in it. Now for the cons, because you know me, I got to give you a con, okay. Uh, well, obviously I have a little bit of a leak on the side. I don't know if it's from them or if it's from my hose. I suspect it's from my hose because I have the same leak when I put the attachment to my hose. I'm not going to penalize them for that because I don't know where the leak is coming from, but it's very tiny. The one big major no for me is that you cannot keep it flat on the ground. The bottom is rounded, so if you don't feel like attaching it to a wall because you want it somewhat portable. Let's say, for instance, you have a very large property and it needs to be portable. Um, if it's affixed to the wall, you can't do that. You're stuck with the 100 feet, which is, by the way, it goes all the way to the front of my property, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but I don't like that the bottom part is rounded. It doesn't stay. It's like a, uh, um, how do you call those? The wobbly... A jack-in-the-box? No, not jack-in-the-box. You know what I'm talking about? The clown that used to go back and forth and people used to punch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know All what right. you're talking about. So that's what it reminds me of. I wish the bottom was flat. It would make more sense. Maybe now, like a weeble. A weeble? Yeah. Did you like a weeble. Weebles? Okay. Yeah, I remember the weeble. Weeble wobble? Yeah. So that would be a drawback for me. Uh, I wish it was a flat bottom so I don't have to install it on the wall. It's going to end up being um, affixed to the wall in my garage because my hose can go all the way up there so that's fine and plus i can plug it in over there and keep it away from the element other than that i'm super happy to have a pressure washer so i'm very grateful for giraffe tools to send me this one for review i hope you impressed with the rug to be honest it wasn't that dirty um i wish i had a more significant before and after for you um but it is what it is the rug was not that dirty and i mean it was dirty, but not like dirty. Um, it smells clean and 
ready to go upstairs as soon as it dries. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner if you want to see more reviews from real people like me. And then follow me on Instagram and Facebook at My Great Challenge. Channel merch like this t-shirt right here designed by Scott is on My Great Challenge gift on Etsy. My vintage finds are on Etsy as well. The shop's name is Frenchie and Tubby. And new this month, if you want exclusive and behind the scene content, I now have a Patreon channel and you can find me at patreon.com slash my great challenge thank you for watching bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really really liked it or save it to watch later also you can subscribe to my channel but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when i post a new video thank you for watching